welcome, I'm the game viewer, and I'm dressed as Alan Grudd again today. And no, it's not what I do on a daily basis, as some of you might think I do, because I don't. But today is something special we're doing, we're going back in time to 1992 or 3. Picture it! The best performing game consoles are the Super Nintendo and Sega Mega Drive, Sonic and Mario going head to head. Uh, I think Donkey Kong Country was probably the best looking Super Mario game at the time. But that was 1995, so we're going a little bit further back than that. And video games were quite primitive, if good looking. But there was one thing that sort of trumped them all still and held on to its glory age of the gaming industry. And that is the pinball machine. But this isn't any normal pinball machine. No, you might have guessed it already. It's a Jurassic Park pinball machine. thinly built conservatory and it echoes quite a lot. As you can hear the audio quality is amazing and we've had to bung this bad boy up with corks and wood and somewhat so that neighbours don't go flying off the handle and demand that I owe them money for disturbing their sleep. But here we have it. This is the Data East Jurassic Park pinball machine and is what could be arguably the best pinball machine that, come, that came out of Data East. So I am not too much of a pinball uh, it's a pinball rat, did you call it? Pinball? Enthusiast. A pinball enthusiast, okay. <laughs> pinball, uh, pinball wizard, that's the one. They were quoting an actual song that time. Uh, but this one, I remember as a kid, um, I went to a football uh, club. And my dad used to go over there playing football every Saturday. But this little thing was the joy of my visit, as well as the other arcade machines. And I would spend many a pound coin playing this bad boy. <laughs> Let's, let's try to rattle up the things that look impressive. It has an actual infant shaker. Now, I don't know how many pinballs have it, but uh, there is also a T-Rex that bends down and eats your pinball. Uh, no other pinball machine, I'm pretty sure, has that feature. And when that's happening, it actually has an inbuilt sort of rumbler that shakes the entire pinball system. And it very authentically captures uh, as we'll find out in a minute when we do a Let's Play, get it, because it's a channel and we do Let's Play. Anyway, it uh, captures the Jurassic Park aesthetic beautifully with the artwork. The sounds are all there. You have stampedes. You have Feed the T-Rex. They can all be destroyed. But a lot of iconic sayings are repeated, such as, Ian, freeze! <laughs> But the object of the game is to get into the control room to start with and you will trigger certain um, certain things like stampede and that will also have different features for you to do. You need to feed T-Rex so many times and all of these add to multipliers. Another quite cool thing is you have a smart missile. Every time you uh, launch a ball, a raptor will appear on the screen and you have a chance to shoot it and you have to time that correctly. Going back to the small missile, that's how every time you start the game, the small missile, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it's awesome to activate it and blow stuff up. I'm pretty sure it adds to your um, score and timing it with the right events is also a good thing too. Uh, if you do fail quite a lot, you, sometimes you deactivate your missile. Awesome to pack out your rises there um, that look amazing quality, but they are vintage from the time that this was created. It has a lovely, um, sort of poster board there and uh, on the side we have the Jurassic Park logo we have another Jurassic Park logo on the side uh, this is actually in pretty good nick everything works it has its bowels and uh, electronics LEDs the computer inside it works fine um, this was a steal when I got it there are some things that need fixing up like um, there's some paint chipping off that's showing some of the metal which could I'm pretty sure it could be sprayed with some hammerite 
uh, black paint to cover that up. So all in all, it's working and it looks even more impressive at night. And I think that's probably enough time of me giving it the good old jibber jabber. And how about we get to playing it? Because I'm sure you're wanting to see it. If you didn't grow up with this, um, that's fine. Um, so let's start with over time and let's start playing this thing. So, as you can see, we've set up this awesome feature where you can see the main board, a cool little bit of the T-Rex, and of course, we've had to black this out, so it looks really cool. Ready, guys? Let's get this started. Let's get going. Right, okay, Whitney, you're gonna have to look at that. Look at that raptor. See, that's where you see the flickering. This is where you see. You're not gonna see that here, because we, we need four cameras in order to capture all that. So I need to shoot a raptor. Up and running. There you go. Okay, let's go. Good. So that's the first one activated. Oh, that's awesome. I am not a pro, but pimple. So. <laughs> so I'm not going to be amazing at this, but I'm not going to be bad either. I keep on saying the magic word! <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, up! Ah, back down. Almost had it. Dude, we need to get somewhere from the front to the Oh god! The thing fell down! <laughs> oh, I know what's caused that. It's the shaking. Oh! Oh, we stopped that so far. Oh god. We keep going in the control room! Oh! Damn it! Nuts. Are we firing again, or am I gonna get like a. Oh, it's got a little manic to go. I knew we were going to shoot. Okay, two seconds. I'm just going to fix this. There we go. Okay, we shouldn't now break. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. That's cool. We can do this. We can do this. We've got to save Isla Nubla. But I want to feed the T-Rex. That's what I want to do. Feed that T-Rex. I see that time I got it. Whoa. Oh, in the power shed. Oh, come on, I've got to get up that ramp. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Oh, Jesus! Yep, that's the raptor pen. Don't want to be doing that. Oh, don't fall. Woo! That's it, right? Oh, God. <laughs> As we said, double ball never lasts long, really. Oh, there it is. Ah, come on, Raptor. Come on, Raptor. I mean, T-Rex. I'm gonna feed it. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna do a little catch. Flick. Down. I was going to fire that to me, other one. No! Woo! <laughs> oh, man, I got it in! I got it in! And then it fell away! Damn! I'm wondering if it thinks there's a ball in play that it just didn't register. I think that might be the case, actually. Yeah. Oh no, the T-Rex is down. No, bad T-Rex, get him. I'll feed you in a minute. Just be patient. So yeah, the sound effects in this are just Great. Oh yeah! Blam blam! <laughs> of course you just get loads of movie quotes from this. Which is amazing. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! Oh no, there we go! T-Rex! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> 
So there you can hear Gennaro. Now sometimes the T-Rex doesn't eat it. It can be a little bit glitchy. And you see now the board is like checking where the ball is. It'll realize it's in the T-Rex. This very rarely happens. And there you go, now he's eating it. And the game can resume. That's probably my fault. I will admit, because this isn't on level floor. So little things like that are gonna need some balance. Oh, let's get to the dock! In the top right, can we do it? Can we get to that? Well, obviously not. <laughs> Special at 190,000, so we're still going. I'm on 81 million, I think my highest score is 225 million. There we go, got the raptor. Get that tiggity down raptor. All round, there we go, all the way around. Into the power shed, beautiful. Wow, the ball went down and came back up. Damn those raptors. They're just too clever. Come on, I'm not gonna lose this. Well, I didn't actually have any say in that. It was just gonna happen. <laughs> and there it is. And the T-Rex breaks out. Destroys the vehicle. So we did get to see the T-Rex get eaten. There are multiple different things. There is like Dilophosaurus, of course you saw a little bit, which was the Stampede. And uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. It did pretty good. I did, I, uh, I will say it did pretty good. Free play, beautiful, no, that's a beautiful thing. You don't have to pay any money to play when you own it. So basically there's loads of things like down here on the, um, on the computer screen, you get two ball wrapped around page, system boot, spit attack, feed rex, stampede, escape easel, and oobla, lit extra life, which you have to get from the uh, dock. If you go there, there's jackpots, there's loads of different things to do. It's awesome, and I'm so glad that I could finally own it. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye! Going to go out and fix the washing line. No! In my shoes. Like the socks? Look at the socks. Did you get a good shot of the socks? There's some nice socks. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was like every footstep I took was. Ah.